In this demo, we are going to learn class access modifier and how they affect class visibility for the classes in the same package. Let's open the project class intro 2 and let's go to the package data. Here you see that we have three classes namely cust form, customer and silver customer. Let's open class customer. You can see that this class customer is a public class. Let's study the instance variables. The first two variables cust id and cust name are public variables. The next instance variable is public address addr. You can see that a new address object is instantiated and assigned to this addr variable. Similarly, the next instance variable is public phone phone equal to new phone. So again, we are assigning a new phone object to the phone variable. So what are these classes address and phone? So let's scroll down to the definition of address class here. It is just below the main method. So address class is a inner class or it's a nested class. Its class access modifier is protected. That means this class can be accessed only by the outer class customer in this case and by other classes in the same package as well as by the subclasses of customer class. This inner class address has only one instance variable public string addr line. Now let's also look at the class phone. Phone is also an inner or nested class but its class access modifier is private. That means this class can be accessed only by the outer class customer. No other class can access it. It has only one instance variable public string model. Let's see if the access modifiers are working correctly. So before we start writing code inside the main method, let's also take a quick look at the public void print method. It is expected to print the customer details. So it prints cust id followed by cust name followed by addr line member of addr instance variable and model member of the phone instance variable. So with that let's start developing the code inside the main method. 